Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Christian's Crosses for Sunday, October 8, 2023, the 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Matthew, chapter 21, verses 33 through 43. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went on a journey. When vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce. But the tenants seized the servants, and one they beat, another they killed, and a third they stoned. Again he sent other servants, more numerous than the first ones, but they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, thinking, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. They seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. What will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? They answered him, He will put those wretched men to a wretched death and lease his vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the proper times. Jesus said to them, Did you never read in the scriptures, The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore I say to you, The kingdom of God will be taken away from you, and given to a people that will produce its fruit. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Gospel Reflection In today's parable of the wicked tenants, Jesus offers a lesson about the kingdom of God and the consequences of our actions. This parable serves as a reminder of God's love, patience, and justice, while also highlighting the importance of recognizing and embracing His divine authority. The parable's message is clear. Those who reject Christ and God's messengers will not inherit the kingdom of God. St. John Paul II once talked about this parable when he said, In the parable of the wicked tenants, Jesus is referring to Israel, but he also refers to every man and woman, to each generation, and to the whole of human history. Jesus speaks to the people of all times and places. He speaks to us today. The vineyard is the world. The owner is God. The servants are the prophets. The Son is Jesus himself. This passage urges us to make a commitment and to face up to our responsibility. I believe John Paul's words ring true today. This parable invites us to reflect on our lives and consider how we respond to God's messengers and above all to His Son, Jesus Christ. Are we bearing the fruits of faith, love, and obedience? Are we recognizing and embracing God's authority in our lives? The parable of the wicked tenants challenges us to be faithful stewards of God's blessing and to continually seek His guidance and grace as we journey towards His eternal kingdom. And so today, let's pray and let's ask Jesus to walk with us throughout our day, guiding our every decision. We invite you to continue praying with us. 
Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.